This weekend, the Jackman and Grandlings World Cup will take place. 16 of the best players in the world will battle it out. Firstly, for 8 spots in the playoffs, then 4 spots in the Grand Final, and then finally for that one World Championship title. One of the players in this World Cup is Afi from Switzerland. Afi, welcome back to the channel. How are you, man? You made it now into the, your first World Championship in Jackmania, so I can only assume that life is great. Yeah, life is good. Obviously, I'm really proud of being here in the World Cup. A um, lot of exams at the moment, but I still uh, took time to, to, to practice enough to perform uh, this weekend, and hopefully it will go well. Mm. Yeah, because it's uh, it's been a while since you competed on these maps because you were one of the, you were such a good player that you didn't need this open qualifier. You were one of the eight players from the Trackmania Granny that basically just went into this World Cup. So how has the time been for you since that uh, Trackmania Granny? Have you even seen the maps? How much have you trained the maps? And when, if so, did you start training those maps again? Yeah, so I didn't really start training before the open qualifier. I played a bit the map here and there but not too much and since I knew I had exams uh, in the month of June so I practiced a lot uh, at the beginning of the month and then I, I just could play a few hours regularly every day and um, yeah maps are fine the two new maps are interesting to play more than the eight maps that we already know but um, I heard that some some players are bored of the maps, yeah. but for me it's it's different. It's the first World Cup. You have <laughs> all the hype around it, so I'm fine with it. <laughs> yeah, can you tell people we have? I've spoken to people like uh, Spam, to Call Junior, the players that you have seen in the World Cup basically since 2011, 2012. They are so used to this. For them, it's just another World Cup, but for you and so some others, this is the first World Cup. So, how does it feel to finally be able to play in the World Cup and finally? have a chance to get the most prestigious title Trackmania has to offer the world champion yeah I mean it feels kind of kind of surreal <laughs> like I've been looking up at these players for years and now just playing against them is, is quite something and um, yeah the hype is real I just want to go as far as possible I don't have too much pressure I don't think I'm, I'm one of the favorites to win so uh, I will just play my game and and try to perform at best. Hmm. Yeah, what expectations do you have, if any? I mean, I made my tier list, so I have expectations for you. I put you in a playoff spot, so you cannot disappoint me at least, but what <laughs> what realistic goals do you set for yourself? Are you already like, I achieved my goal of being here, or is it I need to reach a playoff to be happy, I need to reach a grand final to be happy? What goals do you have to be happy? Yeah, I mean, I always want more, and now that I have my spot in the World Cup, obviously I want to go to the playoffs and that is the first step and if I make it to the playoffs of course I don't want to stop at the top eight I want to get further so yeah. we'll see playoffs is the first goal uh, I know the matches that are coming up and what I need to do to get to, to the playoffs and yeah we'll see hmm. Uh, for people that have seen you in Jackman and Grandly, we know that you handle the group stage format in that uh, mode very well. We have seen you play in the playoffs format as well there, but now we're going to see you for the first time basically playing against these players in a cup mode format. Do you think that is going to suit you better than the group stage format in Jackman and Grandly? How do you see yourself in a cup mode format compared to these other sick players? Well, I think the cup mode is better than the playoff format for me one lap is easier than two laps and uh, i mean i already played some cup mode against some strong players for mm. example in the lyon esport uh, lan event and cup mode has always been something that is suiting me well but we'll see on that kind of map uh, what happens mm. and if you look at the players field can you tell people do you have any underdogs that can make it? If I ask you about the favorites, I ask pretty much already 12 players. They, they basically just say call Junior and Pack. So I'm going to ask you, do you have any underdogs that maybe can be a positive surprise along with yourself maybe? Well, I think Binks can be really fast. He was really fast in the open qualifiers. We don't really know what are his PBs because he trained a bit like I did, hiding the PBs and stuff. So I think he could be fast. Solja has proven to be really fast. And if, if he can 
like finish the match quickly with the finalist mode, I think he can go far as well. Mm. And looking at uh, this format, for people that don't know, it's going to be a group stage format where you basically play a lot of different matches, playing against different players. But have you seen your matches and have you tried to see that, okay, this match is maybe harder than that one or are you just going to take each match as it comes and play? Basically, no, no matter the opponent, you're still going to play the same. Well, I think all the matches are really strong. I, I cannot just say I I have to get first, second or third in mm. uh, in some matches. I'll just have to see what happens in the matches. Everything can happen. All of a sudden, some great players can have like the worst match and I can win it. Who knows? Um, I'm just going to go into every match, like consistency, try to be fast, getting the 10 points. Mm. And uh, in the end, uh, I have the mindset of trying to win every match mm. to go as far as possible. Hmm. Uh, there is another big uh, Trankmania competition going on, or at least the training preparation is going on at the moment, is for the Serator Cup. Are you starting to train that cup as well, or how would you sort of compare those in your personal view? Is the World Cup more importantly than the Serator Cup, or is the Serator Cup bigger for you? Yeah, so that's what happens when I tweet in French. That's because <laughs> I said that I cannot attend the Zerati Cup this okay. year okay. Uh, because I'm going in vacation with the friends. And, uh, well, the weekend of the Zerati Cup, I, I'll still be out. So no Zerati Cup for me this year. I'll just keep it for next year, hopefully going to the stage. <laughs> so uh, so that's how it is. Okay, we need to fix something then. Start tweeting in English. That's that's the goal yeah. of one, right? <laughs> yeah, I'll try for important information. <laughs> but yeah, uh, the final question for me is going to be a boring one. It's going to be who is going to be the world champion of 2021 in Trackmania? Well, easy answer. I'll sell Carl, Carl Jr. or Pac. That's the two favorites. I just can't have to say pick one. You any have to other pick names. One. You have to pick one. Yeah, let's go for a change this year and just say pack. Oh, there we have it. Well, I can only wish you the best of luck and I'm going to keep an eye on you because, again, I have you on my tier list as one of the eight players to make it into the playoffs. So best of luck and I, I believe you will make it far in this tournament, Ophi. And thanks for stepping up and doing this interview. Yo, thanks for having me.